What's going on, game members? Welcome back to another top series on my channel. Uh, it's the uh, top five most violent video games ever made. I meant to bring you guys this the other day, uh, but the weather prohibited it, and then I meant to put it out yesterday, but I couldn't do that either because my wife and I had to go to the doctor uh, to see how the progress of our baby's doing, and they let her know that we are going to be inducing her into labor on Tuesday because she's already halfway there. So looking really forward to that. I'll be bringing you guys a video from the hospital. Uh, well, just as soon as I get it home and edit it and everything. But anyway, um, the top five most violent video games ever made. Yeah, that's the series that I'm going with today. Um, I guess just because mainly I did that uh, gaming rant video the other day about little kids and violent video games. So I wanted to pick out some of the uh, top five ones, you know, some of the ones that I think deserve to be on this list. But anyway, let's start off with a couple of honorable mentions, just like we always do, and we will go from here. Okay, guys, the first honorable mention we have on our list is a game that I'm doing a Let's Play on right now, actually. I'm um, hoping to get finished with that at some point this weekend. But anyway, let's get right into it. The first honorable mention is going to go to Rockstar Classic, The Warriors. The Warriors was a game based on a 1970s movie uh, called The Warriors. And it's about a gang that uh, goes to a meeting with all the other gangs in New York City and basically they get framed for something they didn't do and they have to try to fight their way back to Coney Island. But anyway, um, it's a really fun game. It's a really brutal game, actually. <laughs> I mean, you can just... Anything at your disposal you can use as a weapon. There's no uh, guns or driving or anything like that. It is a straight up, like, beat the shit out of anybody you come across game. And you can use anything at your disposal, really. Um, pick up TVs, beer bottles, pool balls, guitars, whatever you can find, whatever you can grab a hold of, you can use it to beat the crap out of people. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. Check out some gameplay of it. All right, all right. Make it, make it. That game is just so much fun to play. Like I said, I'm doing a Let's Play on it right now, and it is just absolutely so much fun. Rockstar did not disappoint at all with it. It's got a great story to it, leading up to the events that happen in the movie. It's just it's just a good game. Rockstar never disappoints on their games. I swear they, they're they just one of the best gaming companies in existence. But anyway, guys, moving right along, uh, let's get to our next honorable mention. Our next honorable mention is another Rockstar game. One that came out not too long ago, and that is definitely deserves to be on this list because you just absolutely blow people away with this, is Max Payne 3. Now, Max Payne 3 is the uh, newest version, in, or the newest game, I should say, in the Max Payne series, and this game is absolutely brutal. You can just completely obliterate people's faces and everything else in the cutscenes in this game. It is... <laughs> <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Anyway, enjoy the gameplay of it. Damn, fuck your body. <laughs> they just ate those bullets guys oh my god that is gruesome but anyway uh, if you've never played max pain 3 definitely give it a shot because it's definitely worth playing the only complaint i have on it is it's a little short um but that seems to be the case with most games now in comparison to what they used to be but anyway let's move right along uh at number five we're getting in the top five now at number five we have a game that's not only very gory and violent but it's also pretty scary uh, is uh, The Suffering Ties That Bind. Now, I've played through this game, I think, once or twice, and this game is pretty brutal. Uh, you play as a character named Torque, and uh, you escape out of a prison, and you're in there for supposedly, like, killing your family. If you've never played them, I'm not going to, you know, ruin it for you, but this is the second Suffering game, and I think this one was more brutal than the first one. So anyway, uh, check out the gameplay, and let me know what you think. I am a man 
Freddy. Couldn't take the world. Couldn't weather the storm. He burned out big time. That game is fucked up beyond all repair. I will go ahead and be the first to tell y'all that. That game is so jacked up. They're like it's like I said, it's not only gory, but it's also very creepy. But anyway, guys, moving right along, uh, at number four, uh, we're gonna get into a game that is fairly old. Uh, it's a pretty old game. Uh, I remember this game being out on the computer and one of my buddies showing it to me and I I don't think there had ever been a more violent game in existence than this one when it came out. A number four spot is going to go to Soldier of Fortune. Now, I never really played this game all the way through. Uh, I mean, I was quite a bit younger, so I didn't really, uh, I didn't really play through it very much. I know I played the hell out of the demo, but the demo is just the first like level, which is the gameplay footage you're going to see. But anyway, um, you could absolutely obliterate people in this game, uh, kind of like you could with Max Payne. But this game, you could blow people's limbs off, and I mean, it it was just a Brutal game. Very brutal game. But anyway, check out the gameplay of it. Number four goes to Soldier of Fortune. Hey, you didn't need that armor or that head anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that was Soldier of Fortune. Uh, it, like I said, it's definitely a very brutal game. Definitely deserved to be in on this list because the way you could just obliterate people in that game was completely ridiculous. And like I said, this game was made back like in the day, so it was uh, it was actually a really fun game to play. Like I said, I used to play the hell out of the demo. Uh, I played. I can't remember if I played through the entire game or not, but I honestly can't remember, but I'll have to, I'm pretty sure you can get it on Steam. I'm pretty sure you can if you're interested in getting it. But anyway, moving right along at number three. Number three is a game that I absolutely did not like in the least, but I needed to put it on this list. It needed to be in the top three because this is a very bloody, gory game. The game itself just sucked. Like, the controls for it were absolutely terrible, and it was a terrible game. I could not play it for very long at all because the controls in it were so bad. The number three spot, though, since it is as gory and violent as it is, is going to go to Splatterhouse. Now, Splatterhouse is a remake of the original uh, NES game, Splatterhouse. And this game, you could, I mean, you could just tear people apart. You could use their limbs to beat, the, beat them down with. I mean, it was just... It was a very brutal game, but like I said, I didn't like it. I thought the gameplay of it sucked, but anyway, I thought it deserved to be on this list, especially in the top three because of how brutal it is. So you guys check it out and let me know what you think. You know, that game was such a huge disappointment and it, it really it actually kind of pisses me off because I you know I remember watching trailers and everything for that game thinking oh man that game is gonna be sweet that game is gonna be so fun but no it turned out to be just a big old pile of poop because the controls in it like I said were so terrible that you could, it was almost to the point where it was unplayable but anyway guys we're now in the top two now the number two spot goes to another rockstar game one that I never beat but I played 
quite a bit of whenever I was younger. Uh, the number two spot is going to go to Manhunt. Now, Manhunt is probably one of the most brutal games I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, this game has been banned from several countries because of how violent it is. I know Rockstar had to go back and they had to uh, edit this game several times just to get it down to a mature rating because the executions and things you do in this game are so brutal. It's just check out the gameplay. Damn, I swear Rockstar, like, they went a little over the top with the violence in that game. Now, I personally think Manhunt is probably the most violent game in existence, like, graphically. But the number one spot is going to go to a game that, while it might not graphically be the most violent game I've ever seen, I've never actually played it, but I have watched plenty of gameplay in it, and the stuff that's in this game is so fucked up that it had to be at the number one spot. Because this game is so bad that I know it's banned in several countries and I can't remember where exactly, but I know that if you own this game, sell this game, or like try to give this game away in a certain place, I don't remember where it's at, but you will get thrown in jail for at least 10 years and slapped with a $250,000 fine for just having this game. That's how bad it is. So the number one spot on our list for the most violent video games is going to go to Postal 2. Now like I said, I've never played this game, but I have watched gameplay on it. And I know you play as a character called that calls himself The Dude, which is really funny because The Big Lebowski is like one of my favorite movies, so <laughs> that's just kind of that's funny to me. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you this uh, clip from this game, and it, like I said, this game is very, very violent and fucked up, so just... Fair warning before you watch this clip. Now the flowers will grow. I think that, without a doubt, we can all agree on is the most fucked up any of us have ever seen a video game do before. <laughs> you you go into somebody's house, you tase them, you burn them, and you fucking pee on them. Like, that's not... What? How is... That's not even close to being anything normal at all. That's one of the sickest things I think I've ever seen in a video game. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um... I'll, uh, I'm going to try to do my best to get uh, my video schedule straightened out. Like I said, my little girl's coming uh, on Tuesday. So things for the next few days for me are going to be kind of hectic. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure you drop a like on it and hit the subscribe button. Because as soon as I reach 100 subscribers, we're going to be doing another giveaway. Uh, but um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter for uh, you know if you guys want to take place in my uh, top series videos, whatever. Uh, just be sure you follow me on Twitter. The link's in the description, and I will see you guys later.